my dogs is killing me. It, it's these shoes is the problem. And I, uh, uh, a foot's just like anything else. Just gotta get air to breathe. Ain't that right, boys? That's right. We just want air to breathe. See, they they just want air to breathe. Somebody needs to tell somebody how, how to make a good pair of shoes for somebody. Think it's got anything to do with them not being yours? No. Say, say, listen, what was that about? What? What was that problem you had back there? I, I heard you scream, but I, I didn't see nothing. Oh, yeah, well, Shorty hit me right on the mouth with his flashlight. Well, what the hell for? I was just lying there on my cot thinking up something. Uh-huh. Thinking about this big, gigantic cigarette. Wanted one all day. Only they wouldn't give it to me. So, along three o'clock in the morning, this big, gigantic cigarette I'd been thinking about. Yeah? All of a sudden turns into a red-hot fireplace poker about to plunge into my forehead. No. Next thing I know, Shorty hits me right on the mouth with his flashlight. And, and, and that's when Charles went crazy, so to speak? Where did you say we was? <sighs> Close to False River. And this fella, he's from around here too? Just stay in the car, Pokey. Okay? Uh, Everything will be all right. Okay, I, I'll stay right here, Jimmy. Just, I'm gonna stay in the car now. Sister, know you. I was little back then. Judy was just about grown up. Well, now she's grown up, and I'm grown up. I, I need a pack of Lucky Strikes to go with this. Doral's. Uh, sorry, we ain't got those either. Then just a, a pack of cigarettes, any, any one. You ain't gonna tell me you don't remember my damn sister. Okay. She's got a boyfriend now. They're going to the beach one day. He says so all the time. Chocolate beach or some such thing. What's your sister's name? I told you, Judy. 
I was little back then. And you're big now. I can knock the crap out of you. You know, sh she was real mad when you went away. She thought they locked you up for good. No, I'm out. I'm okay. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. Hmm. Well, good. Good. Okay. That'll be twenty-two forty-three with the gas. How much? Uh, 2243. Uh, You, you can just go ahead and take it. I can't afford the bean dip. No, you can take the bean dip. I don't. I don't have the. I take can't. the bean dip. I can't. I My don't, sister I, wouldn't like it if you if you don't take it. I just can't afford the bean dip right now. Just don't do nothing drastic, okay? I, please keep. Again, three escapees are still at large. A local man, Jim Mix, linked to an animal cruelty case. I feel the first thing I ought to do is apologize. No, I think it's about the fourth or fifth thing. Now, now, see, this is specifically the kind of trouble I was trying to avoid, but here I go straight off the bat. I only saw one of the dead person that close before. <laughs> yeah, well, it was my fourth, and I don't guess I'll ever get used to it. I guess you never do. Nope. Ain't no lucky strike, is it? Come on, boy, why don't you just let me say I'm sorry? Say it. I, I, I'm sorry. There, are you all fixed up now? No, that that was that was no good because you was expecting it. I guess you'll have to catch me off guard someday. I, I will. One day I will. <sighs> you do that. I said I will. You look me up sometime. I, I will. You can find me at home. Yeah, I know. You got that that little old house with a, a, a white picket fence and a couple old folks looking all misty-eyed, waiting for you to walk on up. You, you painted that picture for me about a thousand times. No, not that one. W which one, then? How about the one about the natural-born redhead? The one by the white picket fence? The natural-born redhead waiting by the white picket fence. When she first sees me, I'm just a dot. A little walking dot coming down the road. She, she remembers you? She remembers the dot anyway. Been waiting for that dot to come down that road. For three years. <sighs> Three years. Well, who is she? My girlfriend. Well, I should have figured. I guess all you need now is for her to be thinking fondly of you. Yeah, that'll do it.
come back here. Queenie. Mama's looking for you. Queenie. Sweetie. Queenie, baby. <coughs> Pa? Pa, it's me, Jim. I I'm back. Is that my baby? That's my baby! I knew it! I just knew it! D did you have a hard drive? Did you eat something on the way? Pop at that nice little place outside of Wampi. The one with the plastic horse on the play area you used to like so much. Oh, come in here. Oh, I am so glad to see you. <sighs> what was that little place called? Your pawned the ate there last Easter on a three-day weekend? Ooh, we had the best time in the whole world. <laughs> had a funny little name like a Doodad Cafe or something. Oh, yeah, I remember that place. We don't get a chance to eat out very often. Your pa's so busy all the time fixing things. Is he okay? I couldn't tell Reynolds. He has been working on that old mower a good month. Had it working fine the other day. He was mowing the backyard, testing it out, you know. Well, I went to take him a cool drink because the day was hot, hotter than usual. Well, the instant I stepped outside, I just swooned dead away. Just laid out, flat, down in the grass. Must have been the heat. But your old pa, he just keeps on mowing. Never minding me. Just mowing right around me like I was a shrub. Lord knows how long I lay there. When I finally come to, 
I rear up mad and yelling, saying, well, Pa, what the dickens is going on? Why didn't you help me? Here he comes, riding up on that riding mower, smiles and says, I thought you were dead. The saddest part of that story is what he did to your crayon collection. My crayons? Your Crayola crayons. He mowed them under. Never even saw them. They were just where you left them. Right by the septic tank. Your whole collection. Of course, they all melted into one big puddle after that first summer. Where's Petey? Oh, he's in there. I don't see him. Oh, you're just not looking hard enough. There's been an accident, apparently. I looked and looked, mister, but I didn't find no crayons. Take your order. I'm not ready. Okay, give me the El Rancho Deluxe Cheeseburger. We're out of that. Then uh, I'll have uh, the onion rings and uh, the, the lime pie. Uh, we're out of the onion rings. Okay, then I'll have some french fries. They're not done yet. I'm, I'm not ready to order right now. Ah, shit, we'll kick his ass <laughs> Hey, fella, damn thing on one I don't shot. mean to alarm you or nothing, but you see those two goons over there? And they're talking about you. You know them? <laughs> well, they're mean sons of bitches, even when they're sober. And now that they ain't got nothing but time on their hands with the factory closing, after that big chemical spill, and them animals dying and all, they ain't sober much. 
knew it. <laughs> if I got a memory, I do, don't I? <laughs> hey, pal! Yoo-hoo! Oh, boy. There's the boy. Jimmy Mix, right? Well, it's you, ain't it? I'm damned if it ain't. I got a telescopic mind. <laughs> of course, you mean never met in person. I just know your face from your picture on the television. Well, what do you want, mister? What's that? I don't know you. Well, I just said we never met before, so how could you? <laughs> Why are you acting like that? Like what? Well, like the way you're acting. I got to order a hamburger. You see, like that, right there. I got to push the button. They, they, they get mad if you don't. You can't worry about them. They're everywhere. <laughs> hey, where'd my manners go? I'm Dick Crockett. Mind if I get in there with you? Go on, scoot over. Come on now, don't be shy. There you go. Oh, man, I love these big old cars. You should have warned me about that. Sorry. Yeah, uh, I'm just plain fickle. <laughs> Vanity's all it is. You know how old I was when I started losing my hair? No. I was damn young. One day, my mama brought home this little blonde beaver pelt. Only it was this little blonde toupee I was induced to wear. One of us better order. Damn thing made me cry. You know how kids are? You want some tater tots or anything? It's pestering you all the time. Picking on your weak blank. Gave me a complex about motherhood, I do believe. I hear the tater tots are, are pretty good. But I'm doing all right now. No complaints. <laughs> hey, did you get a gander at that skirt I got riding shotgun? <laughs> We're on our way to Cocoa Beach. As long as the wife don't find out. <laughs> she looked familiar to you. I don't know. Well, she's a real looker anyway with all that red hair. Yeah, I met her about three years ago. Up at New Zion. You know, they got that big old Jesus revival. Goes on all day and all night. <laughs> I could tell right away that she was a shy little thing. You know, standoffish. Couldn't get her to talk to me for the longest time. <laughs> Finally, I just flat out asked her if she'd ever been saved. I'm damned if she wasn't saved but never baptized, not once. I told her what God expected everyone, and I offered help. I remember it was a beautiful day, real pretty. The minister led her out into the holy pond. The minister was about to give her the final blessing and dunk her under, when what do you know? She changes her mind. <laughs> I'm a poor minister. I thought she's gonna take him down with her. So I, I rushed out there to help him out. But boy, you know, she she's a small girl, but she's strong. Put up a heck of a fight. I'm telling you. I don't know if that's gonna count as proper baptism or not. <laughs> the minister didn't seem to think so. <laughs> Why'd you come back? Came back to visit my folks. Oh. I remember that. That was a real tragedy. One minute, man and wife. The next, scattered on the side of the road like all that litter. Didn't that SOB in the other car get away without a scratch? Damn shame. But you know, you can't stay here. Oh, words out on the TV. They're gonna get you. And, and Lord knows there's plenty of people around this town love to give John Law a helping hand. Why, why don't you slide on out of here and let, let me be on my way? Look, I got me this little mobile home up on Foss River. Trout are biting real good. I bet you could use a vacation, huh? Why don't you go stay up there for a while? Nobody uses it. Nobody to bother you.
Why do you want to help me? You ever been saved? Well, it's been settled then. I just need to ask the usual question. I don't have no watch. What time is it?
Marco. Polo. Marco. Where are you? I'm right here, B. Come on. Oh. Give me that. Okay. Get behind me. Where are we going? We're going to the cafe. Okay. You always got to go to the cafe. Well, they got the best pudding. Oh, yeah. I love the tapioca. If we can get to the cafe from here, but it's going to take longer. And if the tapioca pudding goes, there's going to be a problem. Oh. All right, go swing out to your right there, B. I am swinging no, right. No, to the right. I'm swinging right. That B. I am. Damn it, B. I'm going Come right. On. Okay, I'm moving. Come on, hit I'm this one. Just go around. I am Come moving, on. I'm moving. Just tell me which way to go. Well, I'm going. You're going to get me killed. I'm not going to get you killed. B, come on, go. I'm Don't going right, right there. I'm That's going what you're going right. to do. Now get on down to the cafe because the table's to the right. B, come on, now it's the left. Go to the right. See so many wheels torn up like this. It's the potholes. Nobody takes care of these roads. I mean, what do we pay our taxes for? I don't know. I'd like to know. Uh, how far to the river road? It's a lot of river roads. Uh, looking for Dick Crockett's place. Why? You know him? Yeah. Yeah, we're fishing buddies. Going down here a ways, right where the big old trench is, you see a bunch of guys in orange suits cleaning up. Cleaning up what? The floor wax factory up there had one of them chemical spills. Turns out this chemical's real tasty to animals. Be right back with you, all right? Chief Parker, man. They're trying to get fingerprints off that screwdriver, but Lewis had to go to Effingham to get more of that powder. What can I do for you? Who is that boy? Some fisherman. Yeah, well, his fishing license is about to be revoked. Why, well, he do something wrong? You a police officer? Get out away from the vehicle, please. Hey, what'd that guy do? Cows and four bags just don't mix. God, what a smell.
Home Shine for those in the know. They use Radiant Home Shine. Get that permanent radiant glow. Sparkle, sparkle everywhere. Shine away your troubles and cares. Troubles and cares. Sure it does floors, but look at that sink. Counters and tabletops quick as a wink. Never clean again. When you use Radiant Anything? Be right back there, Judy, honey. Cindy, darling, how you doing? We need to get us some supplies. We're gonna take Judy away down to Cocoa Beach. Get away from those escaped lunatics that are on the loose. They come by here. Stop poor old VJ with his own rubber handle screwdriver. Right there? Took a liking to his boots. One of them was that fellow Judy liked a while ago. Mm -hmm. Killed him. Don't you watch the TV? Give me change for a dollar, darling. You point me toward the nearest thing. He'd been working with the three for several years and felt he had been making progress. How big of a threat are they? I can assure you these men, these escapees, pose, pose no danger to the community. This is just a misunderstanding. Dr. Dr. Short. Meanwhile, law enforcement officials believe the escapees fled the area in a vehicle which was left in the facility's parking lot. Thanks for your help. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, where the hell is Cocoa Beach? Down by the ocean. You are just a fond of knowledge, darling. Judy? Judy! Judy! I want to douse that thing? I didn't mean to scare you. I thought you were Dick. Well, he, he ain't here. I rode this old bike out here. Dick bought it for me. He let me drive his El Camino one time till I ran over this tawny little cat. I didn't feel like driving anymore. Oh. Where's Dick? He went to Cocoa Beach. Did he? Huh. That's funny. He just called, asked me over. Wanted to apologize is what he said. Make it up to me once and for all. Took off and left you in charge, huh? Who wants to know? I need information to survive, damn it. I've had a long bike ride. I've got a heart murmur. Do you know what that's like? What? My heart murmurs. It's murmuring right now. Why don't you go to the hospital? Look, I took a chance riding through these woods. 
There's a lunatic on the loose. Three, actually, if you care to count. Television says they busted out of Science Hill two days ago. Coming on foot. Throttling people as they go. Yeah, I, I think I saw something about that. Throttling the breath out of them. Mostly young girls. Weak ones like myself. With heart conditions. When I saw you wasn't Dick, I, I thought you was one. A lunatic, I mean. No, I, I just... I just, uh, got out of the Navy. You're a Navy man. I'm on furlough. Uh, Dick, Dick said I could stay here till, till he gets back. From Cocoa Beach? Yeah. He take his girlfriend with him? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. What's your name? Ensign. <laughs> Ensign Pulver. Glad to know you, Ensign. <sighs> My name's Tina. Hi, Tina. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time a girl kissed you? I know you have other love goddesses back where you come from, but let me be the only one you have here. Okay. I don't just mean it as a figure of speech. Jesus Christ, look at that. It's them damn potholes again. Potholes? The goddamn roads inside. The roads. Folks drive on them. You drive on them. Don't you notice anything? Potholes? Damn straight. Our byways are riddled with them. I'd like to know what we pay our taxes for. I haven't paid any taxes in a few years. So you... You ain't a Navy man. No. Not in any branch of the service whatsoever? I'm afraid not. You are that escaped lunatic throttling women after all? No, no not, not that one. But they put you away? They accused me of cruelty to animals. What? Cruelty to animals. They said I was insane, but I, I never killed any animal. This has some kind of meaning. I mean, it has to do with the position of Jupiter or Saturn or something. I mean, things don't just happen. I know that much. I also know I just did this ensign a big favor. And now I'm gonna ask him to do one for me. 
If I asked you to, would you kill Dick for me? I think I may have nailed me one. I got your shoes here, son. No, now, now those weren't made right to begin with, see? But I, I got me some new ones, that, them, them my boots, see? Well, those are nice boots. Uh-huh. But, but those, those aren't made right at all. Well, it looks like those boots are nicely made. Y yes, sir. Where'd you get them? At, at a gas station. Well, come on now, let's go. Come on, Pokey. That's enough for now. I'm not in the Navy. I don't know Dick from Adam. This is the type of haircut the state gives lunatics. Dick told me to come here. And maybe, maybe Jupiter was influencing him. I don't know. What do you want from me? Well, I ain't leaving here empty-handed. I took this little oven and he can try and get it back. You consider this your lucky night, Ensign? You get all the glory and I'm right back where I started. See? You just take and take and you never give anything in return. You're a poor man.
Thank you. There's still two loose down there. Yes, sir. One from three is two. But the tide is turning in our favor. And what is this, cattle rustler? Oh, that's his kid I'm babysitting. Toby, say hi to the man. Mama Cracker. Real talker. No sense to it, but real conversational. Elegant tit. Well, what's he doing here? One of your escaped lunatics murdered his mama last night. Before you get your ass in there. Thank you. Thank you. First that boy over to the service station gets killed. And now this. A woman with a heart murmur. Damn. Yes. I like that boy. Huh. See you, Toby. Mama Cracker. Let's get the hell out of here. believe you don't know me. I'm coming over. Don't go nowhere now. Let me do this one thing. Why? It's gold, ain't it, though? You're disturbing the fish. You don't hail from here, and these ain't your fish. Anyway, I'm treading very nicely so as not to bother them. I hope it don't go no deeper than this. I can't swim a lick. I used to could, but I forgot how right then when you scolded me. Why is that? Why is it that you ruin all my good times? What are you talking about? D don't try to fool me with no trick questions. OK, I won't. Where are you off to? Coco Beach. That's a real good answer. I wish I'd thought of it. I don't mean to trouble you or nothing. I just need to ask the usual question. You know, I don't wear a watch. Yeah, just so long as you let me know when it gets to 2 o'clock. I'm one of them high wire guys. It swings around the tent and then gosh. crashes to the ground with an ear splitting scream. It's not, not for the, the faint thing. of heart. I remember. And I always come out okay, and then go back in for more. They really eat it up. Get a hoop over the bed, lady, and win the strong man. Come over the great divine. Come and see the dairy do. <laughs> How you doing? Got here after all, huh? Well, what happened? They found her this morning. Washed up down the river, about a mile from here. Tina? They asked me if I knew where you were. Could have told them, but what fun would that have been? Get up. Get up and fight. Come on, you freaking nature. Get up! 
Have it your way. No more screwing around. <laughs> hey, that's my back. So? So I own it. I get first dibs. Yeah, but it was my sister. Yeah, you got me there. Ah! 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 Get this thing off of me! God lays on you when he's miffed. Take yesterday, for instance. My own girlfriend, who I'm in the process of taking on down to Cocoa Beach, abandons me. Cold. No conversation, no thank you note, no nothing. Just here one minute, gone the next. When the first woman just disappear on me. Pardon me. Well, then, when I get home, there's a big pile of soot waiting for me right there in my front yard. I opened up my heart to him. I gave him the keys to my castle. I said, go on in, be renewed, I said. What the hell? I had a boy of my own once. He's a lot like me, but much smaller. But nothing like this boy, the bad one. The one that laid to waste the remaining particles of my life. The particles of your life. Well, yeah, here it is. And then again, you might say yes. There it is, the ultimate affront. My girl's gone, and all my material possessions have been reduced to ashes. That's plenty. Uh-huh. But then you'd be missing the crowning denouement of my sorrow. The death of Tina. He throttled her. Straight off the conjugal bed he did that. What are you telling me? I'm giving you my definition of bad luck. You'd recognize this boy if you saw him again? You bet your big hair I would. making progress, Jam, don't you? No! See, you've, you've externalized God, your demons. Get out of here! I like that very much. But these screams, 
I deal with screams every single day. You know, Jim, sometimes a personal loss, like the one you've suffered, can eventually affect a, a breakthrough. I'm guessing you were very close to your parents. It is, sir. That that's him, Jimmy Mix. I I knew he was different. He he was always seeing things and and hearing noises, just like that that other fella, Charles. But he seemed pleasant enough up until he killed that gas station guy. This boy has got to be stopped once and for all. Now we were doing just fine here until you let all these lunatics loose. I want a foot long chili dog with no onions. And when I say no onions, I mean no onions, all right? Not even a hint. And I want a Coke with no ice. That's just a Coke in a cup. Hey, you need help here? Somebody! Hey, you had a nasty spill. I'll get you something to drink, okay? I don't need no liquids. Who do you think I am, some amateur? I take bigger falls than that every day and get paid royally for it. I'm the guy who swings around the tent and then crashes to the ground with an ear-splitting scream. It's not for the faint of heart. Drink this. Bah! You ruined my dress. I never cared for it anyway. Has your hair lost weight? Oh, Everybody step right up to see the great Whoa! Make room for Daddy! Here he is. Say hello to my good friend, Ward Cleaver! I've known him for years. Him and me, we're the three musketeers! Th there's the killer! <laughs> squinched up like a spider. The spider gets a tiny drop of water on him and he squinches right up. Don't ask me why, they're tiny little suckers. I tell you what, my two friends right now are fetching the most incredible unsquencher you've ever seen. It's gonna do the trick, believe you me.
sure I'm glad to be out from that jail. That feller gives me the goose flesh. Oh, I don't think that boy's a murderer. He just got caught up with this mix fella. No, not that one. The other one. The elfin cowpoke with the big eyes. I thought uh, Toby was your little boy, Mr. Crockett. He is. I expect that's why. It ain't like this is the first time this mixed fellow's got caught up in some trouble. Yeah, he's got a trail of demons and destruction in his wake, more than even most people. It's right here in this town that he finally went so far astray as to cause us to lock him up and put him away with those of his kind. Can you see those lights? Mister. Hey, Jim! Is this the light at the end of the tunnel? Found him up there in that laboratory, on that floor with them hey, poor, Mr. tortured critters. Hey, Mr. See the light. Thought he'd never stop screaming. You, can't you, you see, see that? Of course, we never would have found he broke in except for somebody called in. Damn it. Yeah! Oh, my God, help us. Oh, that boy's always breaking in or out of somewhere. Had a crew cut, like a military type. Same guy tried to run me down on Main Street. I was going down to the cafe to get a little tapioca pudding. I saw the whole thing. It'll be branded on my eyeballs to kingdom come. The kid was under the truck, checking for an oil leak or something. It was his sister. Of course he's going to be mad. When this man sneaks up behind him. Straddled him like a pony. Choked him dead. Is anybody going to order something? Anybody? There, that one looks like a house. A little house on Christmas Eve. And there's a little dog in the front yard. Look, there's two big spiders fighting over a, a golf club. Hey. The snake turning into a lady. Beautiful. Gorgeous lady. Oh, she's got a beard. <laughs> like the bearded woman in your circus? Oh. The circus. Well, you know all about that, don't you, Jimmy? Yeah. That's our little secret. On the wrong damn side. Well, where's the nearest bridge? The one we came over uh, about a mile and a half back. Oh. Where do you want us to go? Home. Huh? Go home. I want you boys out of here. This is serious business. Now, we got enough trouble without making more. We ain't done this in a long time. I've missed it. We're gonna need backup. Leon here can nail a horse fly at 100 yards. How ain't you got something else to do? Not since the factory closed down. Pipe down. One of them standing up. They're getting away. Well, let's just sit tight and see what they do. That way nobody gets hurt. Where are you off to? I got a long walk ahead of me. All the way to Cocoa Beach, huh? All the way. Give her my regards. I won't forget. Sometimes you just gotta take matters into your own hands. Hey, you ever come to the circus, you look me up. It's a genuine cliffhanger. I'll do that. You and me, passing ships is all we are. Passing ships. I 
advise you take an alternate route next time. This is not a good turn of events. Here's what shitload of paperwork. Told you Leon was a good shot. Come on, boy. River's bringing him right to it. Huh? All right, you come along with me, Sheriff, you too. You the jackass that shot the skinny suspect. Then you go back around the front. If they see you there, they'll think twice about going that way. Let's get it. These guys are trying to kill us. 
but it's rabbit season. It's open season. They're hunting us and they got a license for it. Talking in big circles. That's what I do when you kill people. I talk in big circles. You talk and I kill. You made your way south for all the young girls as you wanted. I don't got no compass, Jimmy. <laughs> you got an aspirin? Why'd you have to kill Tina? Oh, no, no, Tina. The young girl with the toaster oven. I knew a Tanya once. Rode ponies bareback through a hoop of fire. <laughs> What? Mm -hmm. Then give me your flashlight. You ain't getting my damn flashlight. Give me the flashlight. No, you ain't getting my damn flashlight. Then give me the gun. Do I look like a damn government issue? You ain't getting my gun. I want to shoot or I want a lot of fire. Give me the Are you with me? Yeah. Then you go first. I think they're on to us. Kind of scent, huh? Shh. Are you sure you heard something? Voices. Yeah, well, I didn't hear anything. It's up ahead. Just listen. Yeah! Well, what's this stuff on the floor? It's not poisonous, is it? No, sir. It's just plain old floor wax. Your missus probably uses it. I'm not married. This is wrong. This is just wrong. Okay, I think there's a way out over here. <laughs> Hi there, Jimmy! Dave? There's a lot of work catching up with you guys. I even sacrificed my vanity. <laughs> but hell, once I finish you off, I won't be a hero. And you won't feel a damn thing. He didn't know what he was doing. He, he didn't mean to kill her. Who? 
Your wife, Tina. <laughs> you know, Timmy, I may be the only one around who believes you. <laughs> they call this a laboratory. <laughs> Ain't it a scream? Ain't nothing but a plain old torture chamber. I did find out some pertinent facts, though. For instance, you inject a tad bit of floor wax into the retina of a rabbit's eye. He goes blind as a bat. Shut up a second. Can't you hear that? Did I bought her that bike? After she ran over some little pony cat. <laughs> anyway, I walk over to help her out, said I was sorry, and said it was gonna rain. I said, honey, you leave that toaster oven out in the rain, it's gonna rust. So she walks over, picks it up, come back over without saying a word, cocks me over the head with it. How's that for gratitude? You killed Tina? Can't you hear that? Poor old Jimmy. <laughs> he just gets blamed for everything, doesn't he, Jimmy? Hey, girl. I came home early, that's all. Everything happened after that, you can blame on the Zodiac. You think I had a choice? Maybe. Maybe if Tina had given me that divorce. Maybe if Judy hadn't abandoned me. Or maybe if you'd have been the murderous nutcase I thought you were. Guess we'll never know. And on my head rests the blame. So far as anyone else will know. Our little secret guys here. It's two o'clock. You're supposed to let me know when it got to two o'clock. No, Charles. Come back. Charles. Charles, what are you doing? And gentlemen, you are about to witness the greatest feat of aerial daring do I ever attempted on this or any other planet. Not for the faint of heart. Elderly ladies and young tots might all look the other way. Please direct your attention to the center ring. Here, 
the spotlight. Is this it, Jim? This is it. Come to see my act. It's a doozy. I told you I'd see it someday. Lord, <laughs> what a view. Look at this, would you? We're mighty close to heaven now. Might make it yet. You figure we've suffered enough to qualify? Sure we have. No point in overdoing it. <coughs> yeah. My motives were good. Everything I did was out of love. They make provisions for love. That's heaven for you. Did you suppose your folks have got in? They make provisions for love. Please hold on to your popcorn. Somebody has to sweep it up, you know? And now, without further ado, here he is. The guy that swings around the tent and crashes to the ground with an ear-splitting scream. It's a long-ass way up here, Jimmy. Now you got a little headache there, Jimmy. Well, where'd your little friend go, Jimmy? bail on you? Well, I sure am sorry. But maybe he had the right idea. See, he had a choice. I was dead! And so do you. So what's it gonna be, sport? One small step, or do you need a little help? Is anybody up there? I got him, Lou. I got him cornered. He ain't going nowhere. What? Who? who where? Damn! He was right here a second ago. You pushed him off, didn't you, Mr. Crocker? I did not. I absolutely did not. You know, these, these lunatics, they got their own agendas. You pushed them off just as sweet as you murdered your own wife, Mr. Crockett. No, no, no. You got it all wrong, Lou. Down there, down there's a real tragedy. Now, look, it's been a long day, so this is what we're going to do. First, you're going to give me that gun. I didn't push them. They jumped. Now, look, you're tired. You're a little confused. Just give me the gun. No! Look, I can get you some help. Give me the gun, Dick. It's all over. Shit! Now, come on now. Now, we're gonna climb back down to that ladder to the ground where we belong. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the whole story. He told me everything. He told me the whole story. Well, I got somebody that's gonna wanna listen to you. Uh, I'm sure shit ain't gonna tell you. It's gonna be all right. It's all over.
What took you so long? I ran into some trouble along the way. That's only natural. There's a time for listening to the thunder There's a time for cleansing all the sins But there's a time when I'm slowly going under This time isn't one of them No, this time isn't one of them There's a time when joy is so elusive Out of your grasp and three sheets to the wind There's a time crying is conducive But this time isn't one of them No, this time isn't one of them Most of my life's been like a wedding The moment where the bride and bridegroom kiss Sometimes I can't believe all that I hope in This moment feels like one of them This moment feels like one of them appear on the horizon systems and superstructures will explode peace will be a word for hypnotizing this time isn't one of those no this time isn't one of those something those blessed words ever be recalled remember well who has really loved you and to be loved is the best of all and to be loved is the best of all Love is the best of all. 